Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for Monday, August 3rd. And today I want to talk about certainly how gratitude affects the business that you are in and the people that you work with, your, your leadership or the people that are employed by you or whatever it might be, employees. I want to talk a little bit today about people characteristics. And one of the things that is key to being a good manager, a good leader, and certainly expressing gratitude, but also learning how to listen. And I've mentioned to many, many people, learn how to listen and really be quiet and do not talk about yourself. It's fascinating to me how many times people walk up to somebody else and they say, how is it going? And the person goes, oh, great. I just, uh, what have you been up to lately? And the person says, I just got back to, from Hawaii. And before the person can finish answering about their trip to Hawaii, the other person or somebody else in the conversation has said, oh, I just got back from Hawaii myself. I was over there. I spent a lot of time. We went surfing. Went wait a second, we weren't talking about you. You asked about the person. So really be learned, learn to listen. And it's the old thing. You've got two ears and one mouth. Use it in proportion like that. Larry King, the great broadcaster once said, you know, the biggest thing I learned about the business of being in the broadcast business is you can't learn anything when you're talking. You can only learn when you're listening and ask good questions and ask good uh, follow-up questions. And I said before too, the coaching model, and I coach a lot of people, is to ask people questions, ask further questions. Never you should, you have to, you need to, or you got to, but just ask them more questions and then listen extremely carefully into what they say and then maybe ask a clarifying question around that. And then thirdly and lastly in coaching, hold them accountable. Great. So if I hear you right, you're going to do these three things. You'll do them by Friday. Let's talk next Friday and see if how you're coming on that list and we'll make you uh, move forward. So very, very important. One uh, additional thing on this is that if you really want to make good friends and you're learning how to listen and being a good listener, there's a couple of three word phrases that are just tremendous. One is tell me more. Don't keep you know, nodding and don't just sit there and trying to chime in and ask your questions and talk about what you did. They're telling, well, I took my trip. Well, great. Well, tell me more. Well, then we went to Hawaii. We did this. We did that. Well, tell me more. Well, actually, we went surfing. We took one of those outriggers out. We went to the volcano. Great. Tell me more. Well, we had a couple of great dinners. We had this neat Hawaiian food, et cetera, et cetera. You will have more friends than you'll know what to do with. If you listen to say, tell me more. And another great three-word phrase is, and then what? Same thing as they're saying things. And then what? Well, then we went here and we did this, we did that. And then what? Well, then we went down and we decided to take a trip here and do this and so forth. So many people are so busy trying to talk and respond. And I think it was Stephen Covey said, listen to understand, not to try to respond. So just listen and tell me more. And then what will make such a big difference. But it's so important. I think back to the years I used to watch Johnny Carson on The Tonight Show when I was growing up. And if you ever go back and look at some of those old reruns, he never, talked about himself. He had his guest on and kept asking them more and more questions. And Johnny Carson had done a lot of neat things in his life, but he didn't bring that up and say, oh, I'm a great tennis player or I took this trip or what have you. So it's just something that, that I think what happens is people, you know, they say be a good listener, but what even more than that, people just want to be heard. So be grateful you have those friends, those employees, those managers, or the people that you work with in your personal and professional life, but really learn how to listen, be quiet, zip it, and then if you want to ask them something, say, tell me more, or and then what? But you'll be grateful, my favorite word, because you'll have more friends and you'll know what to do with. That's the gratitude business briefing, can't even talk, business briefing for today. And remember my favorite thing, remember to be grateful and never quit. Take care, we'll see you tomorrow.